In this video, we'll be seeing how to implement a custom dialog box in Android. So you can see this is what we are going to do in this video on clicking the button, the custom dialog box with an icon. So you can actually use any icon here and make this dialog box look much better. You can also see that we are having a heading text and also a description as well. And we are also having a button. So we can do any action on clicking the button. So we can click on the button and you can see we are showing a toast message. So we'll be seeing how to implement this on Android. So let's get to the implementation part. First of all, we have to create the custom dialog box for that. We can go to resources layout and create a new layout file. Go to the new and choose the layout resource file. And here you can change the root element to linear layout. And also we can set the name for the file. Now we can click on OK. And you can go to the split mode. And here we have to design the custom dialog box. So for that we can create a relative layout and add an image at the top. Inside this relative layout we can add an image view. So we have to give an image for the image view. So go to the drawables, right click, new, and inside the vector asset, click on the clip part. And here we can type check. And we can choose this tick option for now. So you can actually download any icon from the internet and use that icon. So it will look much better. You can change the color black to white and click next finish and here we can give the icon okay so inside the drawable you can see the new icon so if you go to the drawable you can see the new icon here okay so we have added the image and we can set the background for the relative layout to something dark so give a background color for the relative layout and you can see it looks like this okay and we can make this image a little bit bigger. So go to the height and we can give an height like 50 dp. Okay, now the image is properly visible. And go outside the relative layout and we can start a linear layout. Set the orientation to vertical. We can give a padding of 15. And inside the linear layout, we can give a text view and a button. So you can do the designing part as you like. So I'm simply doing a basic design. So we have added a text heading. So you can see we have added the text view with the gravity center and some style that is bold and text size to 25 SP. Now we can add a description like text view. We can give some dummy text here. So you can see I'm simply copying a dummy text from the website Lorem Ipsum. You can simply Google it. And we are going to give the dummy text here. Okay, so you can see the description as well. Let's give a gravity of center. If you want to give a padding or margin on the top, you can give that. Okay, now we can give the button at the bottom. We can give an ID for the button. So we can do some action when we click on the button. We can align the button to center. So go to the layout, linear layout here and give the gravity center. Okay, now everything is center. And this is the basic design that we are going to do. So you can simply change the icon here and the text view, font, something like that. And the layout will look much better. 
okay so you can do the designing part yourself so i'll be concentrating on the implementation part so you can do the designing part with your imaginations okay so i'm leaving that part to you and now you can go to the activity main xml part so go to the layout and activity main.xml go to the split mode and here we are having a text view so we have to replace it with the button view you have to give an id for the button okay now we have to give the constraints for the button view so we can do either you can change the parent layout to linear layout or something like that or you can simply give constraints for the button so we will be giving the constraint in this video okay so we are constraining the button to all the sides then it will be aligned on the center see you can see that and you can see the line for the constraints has been added automatically so you can simply move around the button like this and the constraints will be added automatically see that's all we can give a text for the button as well okay our button is ready now go to the activity main java part and here we can create the dialog box for that we have to create an object for the button We'll be using find view by id r dot id dot and then give the id of the button that is btn show dialog now we have to set the on click listener for this button so button dot set on click listener new on click listener okay inside this on click listener we'll be creating the dialog so for that we can create an object for the class dialog 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 equal to new dialog pass the this operator here and that's all so now we are having an object dialog and we have initialized the object as well and go inside the on click listener and we can call dialog dot set content view inside that we can pass the layout that we created for the dialog so r dot layout dot and the layout files name was you can go to the layout and check the file name the file name is dialog.xml so you can choose the dialog here so now we have set the view after that we can set the layout for the window so for that dialog dot get window dot set layout inside that we can call the view group dot layout params dot match parent give a comma and call the view group dot layout params dot warp content okay now that's all and you can hit enter from here okay let me move this to here so you can view it properly hope you can view the code properly okay come here now we can set the dialog to be cancelable or not if you want the dialog box to disappear if the user click somewhere other than the dialog box itself then you don't have to set the set cancelable function to false or something by default it will be true and the window will be cancelable when the user click somewhere else okay so we are going to set the cancelable option to false for that called dialog dot set cancelable and we can pass false here that's all now this will enable the dialog box to stay there even if the user accidentally click somewhere other than the dialog box so you can simply remove the line and try running it you will understand what i meant okay now we can set the on click listener for the button that is inside the dialog box you can see we are having a button okay here so we'll be setting the on click listener for this button okay so for that create the object for the button button ok equal to now you have to find the view by id for that dialog dot find view by id r dot id dot then the id of the button is btn ok 
Now we can set the on click listener for that the object of the button that is button OK dot set on click listener new on click listener. That's all. Now we have set the on click listener for the button and inside this on click listener function we can show some toast message for now. We can do any other activity. So we are going to show a toast message. So create a toast toast dot make text and yes this is correct and inside the text we can pass the message so we can show ok clicked okay so that's all so here we are showing a toast message okay now after this on click listener so you have to check if you are actually on the correct line so come here and here we have to call dialog dot show that's all now when you click the button inside the activity main this button you will get the dialog box okay this much code will be executed and the dialog box will be appearing and inside the dialog box we are having a button and when you click that button this toast message will be shown okay hope you understand now you can see an error here now we can simply ignore that this is the error from android studio you can simply ignore that so when you run the application it will go away okay so now we can try running the application so click on the run so here you can see the application has launched now we can try clicking on the button and you can see the custom alert box has been appearing we can also try clicking on the ok and you can see ok clicked so you can see that the dialog box is not going away so in order to dismiss the dialog box we have to call dialog box dot dismiss so for that you can have to come inside this on click listener inside this function for the ok button we have to call dialog dot dismiss okay then only the dialog box will be going so you can add as much as button as you want so if you want to add a cancel button or some other button you can simply go to the layout and add a new button give an id for the button and you can simply initialize the button like this okay hope you understand that part properly if you are having any doubt you can simply leave a comment below and i will respond to that okay now we can try running the application once more so you can see the app has launched now we can click on the button okay the dialog is appearing now let's click on the okay button and you can see the dialog has disappeared and the toast message is also working so hope you understand how to implement the custom dialog box in android if you are having any doubt you can simply leave a comment below and i'll respond to them and if you like to download the source code of any of our videos you can simply come to this url i'll give the link on the description we are uploading all the source code to this url and you can simply download it from here so hope you understand this video if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more such videos.